So what's the deal? We have all heard about social media and they're all in learning. The fact is that there are so many social media that it is hard to know how to use them. In this video we will sort them out using a different approach based on what is the motivation behind them. This talking video is brought to you by SlideTalk.net. Okay, the very reason why social media are so enormously popular is that they match and satisfy some basic communication need. Needs are complicated things, but we will express them simply by looking at what each social media wants us to tell when it comes to learning. Let's see. We start with Facebook. Facebook is a place where we can tell our circle of friends what we are doing, what is happening, and how we feel about it. Facebook keeps a timeline for us, so that we can see what we, our friends, and even brands, have been going through, day after day. For learning, Facebook lets us tell what are we learning right now, and how we feel about it. Twitter let us talk to the whole world, not a restricted circle of friends. It is a place created for open discussions and for announcements. For learning, Twitter lets us tell to the world what we would recommend other people to learn. Twitter also lets us ask to the world what we need help with. LinkedIn is the place where we boast about our achievements and where we connect to colleagues and peers around the world. For learning, LinkedIn lets us tell about what we have learned, and how are we using that in our professional life. With YouTube we build playlists and search interesting videos. Compared to the previous media YouTube does not provide an organized timeline. It is less about identity and more about activities. For learning, YouTube lets us share what lessons, documentary and lectures we enjoyed. Pinterest organizes the world in themes, with a strong focus on visual information. Here the focus is more on themes, and less on the persons behind it. For learning, Pinterest lets us tell where we have learned something. Spotify, or other music streaming services, are providing the background soundtrack to many hours of reading, writing and working. Spotify to find us through the live soundtrack that we choose. For learning, Spotify lets us tell the world what are we listening to while studying and what music inspires us to improve ourselves. Scoop it brings us into the world of curation, where we can collect and discuss articles and lessons about particular topics, and where we can follow other people that are curating some topics for us. For learning, Scoopit lets us tell what we want to learn next, and how we evaluate the information that is being curated for us. Learnist is a curation tool allowing to collect articles about a topic. Learnist lets us organize topics as sequential lessons, and follows up how many lessons we have already taken. For learning, Learnist lets us tell what step we should take next and what topics we should follow. We may feel that there are already too many social media, but it is likely there are some basic questions out there, still waiting for an answer. Questions that could help us progress just one little step further in the learning area. Should you know how to create a social media that would help telling something still unexpressed today, and should you find the perfect format for it, you might just be the next Mark Zuckerberg. Thanks for listening. This talking video was brought to you by SlideTalk.net. Visit SlideTalk.net, create your free account, and start producing talking videos right away.